Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And we've got Andy Dorfman's thoughts on the dueling bachelorettes. She says it gives me a sexist vibe. We'll get into that. We'll play the clip. Do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram, at Neal's. I have a new stand-up clip out there. You can go check it out. And also, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. As soon as I make this video, I'm rushing to my live stream, and I'll be doing a 10 a.m. Pacific live stream. You can always catch those afterwards if you want to be a part of it. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Okie dokie. Let's do it. BachelorNation.scoop, our good friends over there in the scoop world, has the video. I got to be honest with you. I looked for this video. I don't know where they got it, but it's a good one, so let's play it from them right here. Andy Dorfman isn't a fan of The Bachelorette having two female leads. Oh, this is breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, this was big news in the offseason. We're scraping the barrel when we give two shits what Andy Dorfman thinks. No, we like Andy Dorfman. Let's play. Bachelorette, we're so excited about the upcoming season. Yeah. Some big changes. Two female leads. Yet you're rolling your eyes. What's going through your mind? I mean, look, I want to be supportive because it's a franchise that like literally put me here right now. So yes. I always feel a bit of support. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't bummed that it's two women. I'd like to see the two men go at it, but I just, I don't know. It, it gives me a little sexist vibe there that I don't really love. Will you be tuning in? I probably will, just like honestly, again, out of support for the girls, because I know all these Bachelorette leads and like what it takes to be on screen and to hold your own on a show and production and castmates. Like, I have a lot of respect for those people, so I think I will show my support in that way. But yeah, I don't really love the fact that two women have to share the screen. I think we've progressed a little further. It's 2022. A lot of people have been saying as long as they don't have to compete for the same men and they're all She goes, I think we progressed a little further. It's 2022. Yeah, we're fighting in the streets for baby formula. There's a war breaking out. And of course, we've got greatest inflation in 40 years. I think we haven't progressed is the problem. Now, let's just finish this interview before I borrow out of control. They're on their own individual journeys, but it seems like you don't feel that way. I hope that's the case. I just don't know why they didn't start with the guy, says the guinea pig. <laughs> Fair to say. You'll be tuning in. By all right, so... She goes, I don't, she goes, why didn't they start as the guys as the guinea pig? I could see a scenario where they had two male leads and it, and they, and they had a good relationship and they turned out well and they found their women that we'd be upset saying, how come we can't do this on the bachelorette? So I can see it both ways. It's one of those like pre she's preemptively upset at what might happen, which of course is nothing funnier than, than, get, than like rolling her eyes to something that hasn't happened yet. But Andy's got receipts upon receipts of instances where the show chose drama and chaos over reality. But I love the eye roll. Let's go and get this eye roll again. Bachelorette, we're so excited about the upcoming season. Some big changes. So, look. Two female there it is. Leads, yet you're rolling your eyes. What's snickering. Your snickering door. So, anyway, we like Andy, but if you're new, I, I, I mean, I'll be quite honest. I did not watch her season. That's right. I believe her season. So, so to me, she's she's like ancient, but she's actually younger than me she's 35 not that not that it matters not that anybody cares but you know even me she's been around for so long she's been this household name she's an american television personality and former assistant district attorney from fulton county georgia oh there you go former as ad or assistant da i should say excuse me she's notable for being a contestant on the 18th season of the bachelor and the main character on 10th season of the bachelorette she became famous for walking out on bachelor juan pablo in the ninth episode did everyone walk out on that guy should I, should I be going back and watching that season? She became the first batch because uh, it sounds like she and um, Char Charlene and there's a whole uh, sort of crew of people. She became the first bachelorette to acknowledge being of Jewish ancestry in the show's history. How sad is that? The first batch. I guess it's not not sad that she that that that's her history. It's sad that there isn't more representation. I, f I, f I feel like we had the same thing happen in the Bachelor world where they edited out one of the Bachelors discussing his uh, sort of Jewish traditions in his family. Can we not handle that? Isn't that? You know, we talk about representation and we need it in all forms, but w why? You know, I mean, I'm, maybe it's just me. I live in Hollywood. You know, th there's plenty of coexisting, obviously, between Christians, atheists, Jews, and uh, you know, other religions. You know, Scientology even, you know, <laughs> not that we get us a Scientology lead here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but the point point being is that um, she sounds like she's got uh, she's like sounds beyond qualified so much so that we had people here. Oh, we had an ad pop out. We had people here like Dean reveals that he had a past crush on her and even slid into 
the DMs of, uh, let's see, Dean, he goes, I think before I'd gone in paradise for the second time, I might have slid in. She said, I, he said, I might have. That sounds like an absolutely. I might have slid into Andy's DMs, or maybe I asked Bachelor alum Amanda Stanton to introduce me to her. I can't remember. Yeah. Amanda's like, listen, you still live in a van, so I'm going to pass on that. So anyway, we've got, not that there's anything wrong with living in a van, but here's Andy Dorfman. She really comes from the golden age of Bachelor when you could get a million Instagram followers. Not saying you can't now. Who's our last Batch, our last bachelorette would have been uh, Michelle, right? And Michelle Young, I don't think she's hit a million, has she? No, 775,000. Katie Thurston, Katie Thurston hit a million but fell back, 865,000. Uh, who's before that? Who's before Katie Thurston? I can't even remember. We're going Claire, Claire, uh, Claire, I spelled that Claire Crowley. I spelled that wrong. I think she hit a million. So we had Claire hitting a million, and of course, Tasha. Definitely is a million plus. Tasha, yeah, there you go, 1.7 million. But really, the Andy Dorfmans and the Hannah Browns, I mean, they really came from the prime, um, you know, time of the social media. Hannah Brown, 2.7 million. Am I missing anyone in there? Anyway, point being is that good for her, good for Andy Dorfman to kind of have that following and be doing with it. Uh, it looks like living her dreams. Two times New York Times bestseller. Let's go to um, uh, what... Uh, Bachelor Nation fandom says about her personal life. She was a sorority in LSU, graduated in 2009, earned her uh, JD from Wake Forest University School of Law. It doesn't, none of this matters. Nobody cares about this. Uh, she's engaged. We're happy for her, and she's living her life. We'll have to see. I mean, we'll have to see what kind of points she has about wondering how this is going to go. And she says, if we're going to experiment, do it with the men. Now, as we know, obviously, there was a night one dueling leads that had Caitlin Bristow and the other one, Brittany uh, Magacha. And um, yeah, that didn't work out well. That was probably not, not a good look to pit women against each other. But we also know that there have been instances where women have sort of, uh, you know, take take Selling Sunset, for example. In the Selling Sunset, I like to tie reality trash when I TV when I can. And uh, by the way, look at this. I have too many buttons undone. I got a hat on backwards. What? How, am I 37 or 14? What is this? <laughs> I need one of those little... Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, not every video is a hit, folks. This I, I feel like this is a bomb. Why? Because I don't really care about this. Just play the dang show. We're waiting for July 11th. You guys are with me or what? So anyway, I don't know. I think, um, I think she's got valid points here, but we'll have to see how it all plays out. My thoughts are... They're going to do their darndest to make sure that they don't fall into the trap, Bachelor Producers, that is, of having two leads that hate each other, fight over the same guys. But also, that's inevitable. That I mean, look, when, when, when you go out partying with your friends or go out to the bars, there's always going to be crossover. There's going to be two ladies that have their eyes set on the same guy. It's usually very obvious which one the guy likes and which one of the ladies has a stronger connection. But every once in a while, you know, it's like I me, me and my buddy Joel back in college, I we both had a crush on the same girl. She hate she had she wanted nothing to do with me. So I was like, all right, clearly it's not like me saying, all right, Joel, it's all, you know, it's all yours. No, it's like clearly she had the stronger connection with him and that's and that and that's how it works, folks. And it works in all directions. So I think that the, uh, I think nature will find a way here. And I think that the men will uh, know who, which women they're attracted to. And the women will share notes and discuss all that. And I think, uh, I think it'll be very fascinating to see that process play out. So I don't think it'll necessarily feel like two women sharing screen time. I think there'll be a lot of conversation that happens between the women that might have used to happen between maybe the lead and the host, you know what I mean? So I think, I think, and by the way, I'm, I'm hoping Bachelor Data does some breakdowns of how much screen time they actually get both together and um, individually so we can actually see how that all plays out. Let me know what you think. None of this matters. N Trust me when I say, none of this matters. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I got a video that's uh, popping off on the Dave Neal show right now. Uh, Amber Heard is, going, is, um, is making the rounds and doing interviews with Savannah Guthrie. So we broke that down. Go check it out on the Dave Neal show if you want. And I'll be back here live on the Patreon right after this. We'll see you over there. Bye, everybody.